Yikes. Hello. <laughs> I'm such a glutton. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. And this is going to be my review and recap for Bel Air Season 1, Episode 4. The last we talked. Down with Carlton. Carlton the Coon. Uh, he was also hyped up on the dopest. And he was upset that nobody came to see his um, lacrosse game. And he got put out the game. He was mad because Will had won. And to that end, a uh, druggy drug dealer figured out where he was. So I don't know what's going to happen. Let's get into the foolishness shit. Let's listen. I'm ready. Are you? All right, so we get, we open the episode and Carlton and his daddy are playing chess. They do this a lot on Naomi. Things be detrimental and then they go to commercial and they come back, like the episode ends and they come back and we don't come, jump right back into the situation. We, like nothing happened. We don't speak to the fact that this boy was coked out of his mind. None of that. They just playing chess. Talk about some fundraiser that Uncle Phil is doing that the boys are like, yeah, helping people get out to vote. And he's like, y'all are really stuck on this Shaq and Kobe alliance with me and Will. And he's like, it's not happening. He was like, they won championships when they was together. He was like, okay. So if I can get 30 people to sign up to vote. I get VIP tickets to something in Monaco, some fancy shit fancy situation. And he was like, 50. And he was like, done. He's like, son, you should have counted at 40. Hmm. Cute. So we then go to Will and Lisa are having a conversation about he's taking this art appreciation course as his elective. His Aunt Viv pretty much said he needs to broaden his horizons and all that good stuff. He don't know nothing about art, but um, Lisa is telling him about uh, her person who she's going to do her essay or whatever project that they have to do for the art history class. And so while they're chatting, there's some um, hoodlum hitman, I guess, outside, sitting in a car outside the church's school, just watching them. Just a random grown ass nigga in a car in rich ass California watching children outside of their school. Just a random big black tatted up nigga sitting in a car of the school parking lot watching the children. I don't think y'all understand what I'm saying. Let me, I'm going to say it again so y'all, it can really marinate. A big ass grown nigga with tattoos and shit on his neck. Sitting in the parking lot of this super uber rich school. Stalking children. That doesn't seem incongruous to y'all. To... No. If it was a white man. I would let y'all have that because they can do shit like that and get away with it. But y'all got a nigga sitting in the park. I'm, <clears throat> I'm losing what's left of my voice so y'all bear with me. Y'all got a nigga sitting in the park. Lot. That don't make no damn sense. So then, what happened? Uh, they finally done called Ashley out of the basement or upstairs in her room where she's been for the last three episodes to get her hair braided. She texting some child, talk about her parents. She talked to them. She gonna come to the function, whatever the function is supposed to be, for her little tiny behind. You need a ride to get there, daughter. So I okay. And her parents are in Obama mood, so she really can't talk. She's like, okay, you need to take it down a thousand. You got to be at this skating event. 
by your dad tomorrow. So your hair needs to be done. And Aunt Viv is braiding her hair. And talk about, oh, well, my mama used to do my hair. This is when I would ask her all of these questions about the boys and life and blah, blah, blah. She was like, absolutely not. So then we go to Will, and he done called Ice Tray, and he done figured out the nigga in the car was stalking him. It's from the drug dealer, man. How? I don't know how. I don't know how. Just magically he knows that that's who that is. And so he's saying, Trey is saying that a druggy drug dealer has a bunch of contacts and stuff heavy in LA and that people in the streets is looking for you and blah, 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 we got a dead this situation blah, blah, blah. How, do you, how you gonna dead it how, 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 how you gonna dead it and if you dead it then does that then make it safe for you to go back to Philly I don't know I don't know Okay, so let's jump into what's left. Okay, so we come back and Will's panicking looking for his Aunt Viv and his uncle. And he runs into Jeffrey. And Jeffrey's like, what going on? Well, and so, <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. Don't fight me. Um, So he's like, Rashad is looking for me. He's got a hitter here in LA. Ba ba ba. I just gotta figure out what's going on. And he's not gonna did this beef. Ba ba ba. And he was like, "It's Rashad, whatever his name is, drug drug dealer's name is." And he was like, "No worry, I'll handle it. No need to worry, Will. No need to worry, Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv. I'll take care of it." Hi, 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 hi. How you gonna take care of it, Jeffrey? What weapons you gonna use, Jeffrey? I wanna ride when you go. <laughs> I'm gonna get my life together, I promise. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, so then we go to Hillary, and Hillary is doing all these interviews with all these influencer houses and they just want to whiten up her content as well so i don't think that's a viable situation um she may have to do this go this alone she may have to do this all on her lonesome to have it be as authentic as she wants it to be without adding mayonnaise to thin it out What is this? Okay, so let's get the the boring stuff out of the way. So Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv are having these conversations about that just falls out of the shirt. Um, <laughs> about the election and how these polling things that made Aunt Viv change her hair, and now they're saying she might be a little too opinionated. Just like if you could just put a little. Just muscle it for a little just, 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 just for a little while. You know, and she was like, Okay, uh, you know, I will hold it until, you know, after you get elected and then all bets are off. And he was like, I expect nothing less. And then they I'm, I'm gonna continue this conversation and I'm gonna go back and uh, then I'll go through Hillary and Jazz, which is what I'm here for. Um, so they meet with some voters and apparently it's not going well. Will and, and and Carlton are not doing well because Carlton seems to be offending everybody because he's a coon and even trying to help people sign up to vote, you cooning it out, sir, in this super black neighborhood, which you are completely out of touch with. So you need your cousin to help you because you on your own, ain't, you ain't going to get to the Grand Prix like that. But so they're off doing their thing. Um, so they, I feel like Uncle Vivian meet with these people and they were like, oh, we're still not sure, blah, 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 whatever. So they leave. And so she's like, why did you call me 
an ex artist and he was like i just meant that currently you are not creating art at a like a professional level so that's that's what i mean i didn't mean any offense to it and she was like yeah when you're an artist you're always an artist regardless of if you're creating in that moment or not so don't ever do that again and he was like oh my bad daughter i'm gonna pick my face up off the floor so he did says clearly you have thoughts he was like i need to figure out how to get these people to not to be non-committal um she was like people know when they're being politicians and you are giving these pity pat answers to real issues and you need to really address the issues that people are bringing to you otherwise bruh, bruh it's, it's not gonna work out in your favor so they have that conversation and so uncle phil is gonna start being a little radical you can't continue to count out to everybody because you can't be for everybody you got to take a stand stand for something to fall for nothing what you gonna do what you gonna do so um we then get to my favorite part hillary and jazz so they go into this vinyl record store and jazz is there and he owns the store it belonged to his uncle they passed it down whatever and so hillary's talking to him about his social media and all those good things and jazz like i don't have any social media she was like well what's your instagram look like he was like i don't have an instagram and so she walks him through setting up his instagram doing his first instagram post and be his first instagram follower he's like you know what you are really good at the social media thing and she was like not good enough and then they talked about her parents putting her out and her trying to make her way and she can't afford it and buys a blue 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 and they have a really cute flirty informative uplifting one to another conversation it's giving me very much power couple in the making is that's what it's giving me it's giving me very nipsey hustle lauren london vibes is what i'm getting that's that's what i that's what it's, it's mm, that's what it tastes like to me so um we gonna see i feel like i like the fact that hillary doesn't dismiss jazz at like off gate like oh I think she sees the potential and what he could be. I smell, I smell romance. Me for it. Now her parents might be a different thing. I still want to know what who Jeffrey is going to do to druggy drug dealers hitman that's stalking this baby. Also, Will made a deal with his auntie that if they do good with the voters, because you know, Carlton's getting VIP tickets to the Grand Prix in Monaco. He wants Trey to come out to LA at the, by the end of the week. We gonna see what happens. We gonna see what happens. Um, what the Power Book for is happening around this piece. So, um, Jeff a car pulls up. Jeffrey's in one car. Apparently the man who was watching Will is in the other car and he was like there's no need to and Jeffrey's like there's no need to increase um um there's no you need to increase um the security for the family he's like but our associates in philadelphia is making noise and it's like well we paid mr rashad ten thousand dollars to shut it down and he was like yeah but he took that and now he wants more now that he knows how wealthy our employer is he's like but don't you don't gotta worry about it because we have no intentions of paying him any money i feel like rashad gonna be found floating in the river is there a river in philadelphia for him to be floating in a lake or something because they about to disappear that sounds like somebody about to get disappeared y'all tell me if i'm tripping because they say i choose violence all the time but i'm saying that sound like that's not like one of us is going to the boneyard and it ain't gonna be me listen hallelujah listen i don't know we, we gonna see see the hating asshole that lives inside of carlton just couldn't let it they just couldn't they just couldn't let it they just couldn't let it they couldn't let it rest they just couldn't let it rest hold on one second 
So they going around getting signatures. And of course, Will is charming people and getting all the signatures. And Carlton has bupkis. And so Carlton is upset because he's like, you can't equate all Republicans to racists. And Blue Lives Matter is a bad thing. Take your coon tap dancing snort, coke snorting, hating ass whole ass on somewhere, my nigga. You don't belong here, and we all know that. You mad because he identifies? He was like, did you really come out here for education? Or did your friend Trey get and try to have something to do with it? I knew you was full of shit. He gave the line that your parents told him to, to recite. The fact that your parents don't trust you enough to tell you why he's really here should speak volumes. But I digress. I'm going to keep moving. Because your parents know you was a hating asshole. They know. They know. They know they child. That you a selfish, entitled, coon tap dancing. I don't know if they know about the coke snorting. But he's a hating asshole. And, and they can see the hating asshole on you. That's why they didn't tell you. Child. I'm sorry. Let's get little Ashley out the way. So little Ashley's fast behind. You know, she was texting her little friend. So she seizes the opportunity when Hillary and Jazz are giggling in each other's faces. It's like, oh, this is my chance to get away. And so she breaks off and she's like, I'm on my way. And it's found out it's, she just going to play video games with her little online friends. Not, I said, oh no. Sorry, my niece bought a car today. Um, so, um, so she's over there playing little games with her little friends, and then Jeffrey is really earning his money because who shows up to pick Ashley up thirty seconds after the little boy tried to sneak move where he put his arm around her? Jeffrey's like, little Ashley, it's time to go home, and she was like. How'd you find him? your parents? You must be really earning your money because how you find me? He was like, your parents would not be prudent if I had let a 12 year old girl outsmart me get in a car. And I was like, I'm sure your parents, she was like, my parents would never allow me to go to South LA and hang out with my friends. He was like, we vetted these people. We know that you were talking to them in the first place. They pose no threat, but just please be aware when you're online that there are unsavory people out here who would love to grab you and to try to extort money from your parents to get you back so just be careful you better earn all of your dollars on today earn every single doubloon sir okay so will has a conversation with jazz after the blow up with him and carlton and he was like I was, he's like, I, if the deal is, I made a deal with my Aviv, if we get along, then she can, Trey can come out here. And so Jazz reminds him of his end goal. It doesn't matter. You just got to get along with Carlton because you're trying to get your friend here. And so he catches up with Carlton. They have a little conversation. He's like, the, the, our issue is, is we keep trying to change each other's mind. Okay, so Carlton and Will are going to work to get what they both want because Carlton really wants this Grand Capri situation now Will has invited all of the neighborhood people that he done got to sign up to talk about Uncle Phil for this skate event and Uncle Phil go pay for the admissions and blah 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 and he was and Carlton was like I don't know I think that's a good idea and he was like you gotta convince Uncle Phil so they go home and he was like well first I have to give the people who played it money to have an exclusive meet and greet their money back because it's not going to be exclusive anymore it's going to be open to everybody and i can't control the questions being asked the narratives being spun bah, bah, bah. and it was like well maybe that's what you need some off the cuff real interactions with people from the neighborhood that'll help you so everybody's at the skating event lisa is there lisa has a, a conversation with Aunt Viv, Lisa and Aunt Viv are really close and she's like we need to I know you broke up with Carlton but we need really need to have a gr girls day and we need to talk about the lupus event her mother is the uh person who died from lupus 
that was her soroy and that that's who the the fundraiser it's in in her memory so that happens um jeffrey feels bad for ashley so he brings her little gamer friends to the to the cookout not the cookout the skating event and then now where i paused uh will was in the bathroom and i thought uh one of the people was one of the druggy drug dealer and druggy was gonna uh show up with his uh what's that uh one of his goons or henchmen or something was gonna show up in the bathroom of the event now that it's open to the public um uh, and so, <laughs> Sorry, my family group chat. I'm tickled. I'm sorry. Uh, and there's this cop that comes in and he's like, Oh, you will, you, uh, Phil's nephew. And he was like, Yeah. He's like, I'm Lisa's father. Ooh. Not Lisa's daddy is a cop. I feel, I feel a threat coming. I feel a threat. I, I feel it. I feel it in my shanana. We're going to see what happens. Not Will had a whole PTSD moment in the bathroom. He's looked at him because the man was in uniform. He's like, well, oh, well, when I met you at the party, I didn't know you was a cop. He, he not a cop. He's the L.A. chief of police. Okay. Uh, but he has a whole PTSD thing. And he, he's like, you okay? He was like, yeah, I just didn't know you were a cop. And it kind of threw me. And now he's confronting Lisa. Lisa's like, what does it matter that my dad's a cop? That baby got PTSD bad. He got it bad awkward so they're having a conversation she was like i didn't understand i don't understand why it's such a big issue it's not like i asked you what your dad does for a living he was like i couldn't tell you because i haven't seen that sorry ass nigga since he walked out and she was like oh he was like nah it's 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 fine it's all right and he skates off and she's like will for you she's like he's like i'll talk to you later <sighs> yeah just one one landmine didn't do another i just <laughs> yeah. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Okay, so they get back from the campaign event. Everybody's having a good time. Aunt Phil, uh, Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv, it's all the lovey-dovey dating stuff that married people like to do. Where's my husband, Lord? Can you send him? Thank you. Um, I'm tired of blocking people on Instagram and TikTok because they all in love and showing they love. And I'm over here with a turkey sandwich like, I guess. Um, so anyway, so they're doing a lovey-dovey bit. And so Jeffrey's like, y'all do understand that's how y'all, y'all got here. And then was like, uh, nobody needed to know that. Thanks a lot. And he was like, okay, well, whatever. Romeo, before you and Juliet get to doing what you do, uh, let me holler at your player, player in your office. Bet. So Carlton and Will said, okay, we can kind of work together. You know, thank you for backing me up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. They pounded out. Carlton is still a hating asshole. I digress. Um, so Hillary tells her mama that she's it's the night's got it even better because she got a text that she got accepted into an influencer house. And her mama's like, Well, what are the strings attached? Because that's the kind of mama rags. I'd have I'd have been like, ah! and then I would have went into mm, let's make sure that this is the right thing. Make see what the conditions are and that you're willing to live with the conditions. That these people are going to place on you before because nothing she, her mom was right nothing comes for free but she could at least celebrate with the baby before we got to the logistics of everything then will is upstairs and Aunt viv comes in and she was like you did a great job so we'll fly trey out on the weekend on friday he was like oh my god so he calls trey he's like my boy you coming out to la ow, 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 boo, young bull young bull <laughs> i think that's how you put it i don't know <laughs> absolutely could be wrong so he's like oh you know we'll come out on friday he was like i got good news for you too and he was like what he's like rashad is dead i told y'all i told you he was like what he's like yeah rashad got he got shot up at the strip club <clears throat> okay and he was like do you know who pulled the trigger and he was like who cares we gonna celebrate this year when i get out there he was like yeah yeah we definitely gonna celebrate it now will i feel like his ass is gonna feel like he's responsible and he needs to get to the bottom let go let it go baby he already knows 
that it was probably um Jeffrey that got rid of the, the issue. That's what Jeffrey's job is, is to get rid of the issue. So this is going to cause a problem because Will's not going to be able to let this shit go because that's how children, that's how kids like that do. It's a TV show and they need drama. Now that Rashad is dead and we don't have that threat hanging over him, does that mean he can go back to Philly? Or is this going to cause a domino effect? Because that look really look really suspicious is that he left town. His rich uncle got him out of town. The man threatening to kill him dies and then he automatically comes back to town. That would look mad suspicious. So I still don't think Will's gonna be able to go back home. But we're gonna see. We're definitely gonna see. I wanna say shout out to Jazz for giving brilliant advice to Will and Hillary and for him being played as a very smart man and not the doofus I, just, I like it I like it a lot but that has been my review and recap of Bel Air season one episode number four like comment and subscribe Ugh, stupid hair don't, don't. <laughs> Uh, I'm so easily tickled by the stupidest things. Okay. Uh, uh, what the hell was I saying? Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kin. I will catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>